if you want to schedule Facebook posts. You can do this for free using Facebook scheduling feature. I'm going to walk you through how to use Facebook Creator Studio to create posts on Facebook so you can have more consistency without having to manually post in real time. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sarah Nguyen, and on this channel, I make tech and social media easier for awesome entrepreneurs like yourself. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for all of the latest product reviews, social media marketing tips and training. And at any time during this video, check out the description for links to all of the resources mentioned in this video. Facebook allows you to schedule your posts, whether that's your videos, blog post links, or status updates in advance. The ability to do this was previously available from your Facebook page, but this has recently changed. Now you can use Facebook Creator Studio to schedule your posts. I put the timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a particular section right away. Let's go over to my computer now and I'll walk you through how to schedule. In order to access the area of Facebook that allows you to schedule your posts, you will need to go to business.facebook.com forward slash creator studio. And this will have all of your Facebook pages. If you have multiple pages, if you only have one Facebook page, it will only have the one. And it's where you can also connect your Instagram account so you can schedule to Instagram as well. This demonstration is just about Facebook. I'm not going to show you how to set up and connect Instagram. This is just about scheduling to Facebook. So once you've gone to this URL, I've put a link to it in the description. You can see it on screen right now as well. You'll get a view that looks a little something like this. And from here, you can start to schedule your posts. And the first way I'm going to show you to schedule your post is underneath the home words here, there's something that says post something with a little pencil and a little square around it. I'm going to click on that. And after I click on that, it asks me which page I want to post from. And this will happen if you have multiple pages. So go ahead and click the page which you want to post from, and then you'll be able to create your post. Hopefully this is looking very familiar. So here I can then add a video or I can then add an image and text. So I'm going to go ahead and select share a photo. And this will open up my computer and I'm going to choose an image that I prepared earlier and Facebook will load the image for me. I've also got the ability to add multiple images to the one post, and I can do that by selecting this plus icon and then choosing another image that I want added to the same post. And then Facebook will add it for me there. In this section where it says, say something about this photo, I'm going to go ahead and paste some text and a link, and this is essentially creating the post. Now. I don't want to hit the publish button because that will then post it directly to my page. Now, I don't want to select publish because we want to schedule our posts. If we select publish at this stage, it will post it directly to the page. Next to the publish button, blue button, is a little triangle or down pointing arrow. So click on that. And this opens up a little, a couple of options and we want to select schedule from here. So now I'm clicking schedule and then this allows me to choose the date. I'm going to put it into the future, let it post at a specific time that I choose here. The other option I have is if I select stop news dis newsfeed distribution, then I can select a time where the post will stop showing in the news feed, but I don't want to do that. And if you don't want to do that, just deselect it and ignore it and then select schedule. And now Facebook is scheduling my post to appear in the future for me. So if I want to go and have a look at the post and make changes or just to see this post and how it's actually all going, what I want to do is to go to the content library. So click on content library and this will take you to the post section here. And if you then go across the top here, there's all post, all published, scheduled, drafts, expired, expiring. We want to click on scheduled. And there is my little post that I just scheduled. It tells me that it's scheduled, it's green, and it tells me when I scheduled it for. 
If I want to make some changes, I just go back to the post. You can see these three dots here when I hover over it. I can click on that and I can edit the post here. So I select edit. And this allows me to then make text changes. I can change the images. Alternatively, if I am going to discard that, if I wanted to change the date, I can reschedule when I want it to go. I can also click cancel schedule. When I click cancel schedule, what happens is Facebook will then move it from the scheduled tab into the drafts tab. And that means it won't be scheduled anymore. And then I can also preview the post, which is also a nice little feature to have as well. So I can see what it will look like in the newsfeed and in desktop view and also in mobile view as well. So that's cool. And I'm going to X out of that. And that's the first way to schedule a post on Facebook using Creator Studio. We went to a post something. We chose the page that we wanted to post to. And then we went ahead and created the post uploading an image or a video. And then we went ahead and selected the schedule feature. Now, the second way that I can schedule something is once again, I'm in Creative Studio in the home section. And then where it says upload video here, where there's a green upward arrow and a thing underneath it, I'm going to select that. And this is obviously if I want to upload a video to be scheduled. And then this gives me the option to upload a single video, multiple videos, and it also allows me to post the video across multiple pages. So in the case where you have multiple Facebook pages that are related, you could potentially schedule the same video to go across more than one page at the same time. So I'm going to go to single video. I'm going to choose the page that I want to schedule to. And now my video is being uploaded. It's a little bit different as you can see than scheduling a post because there's a few more things that you need to add to the actual video. The first thing that I want to add to the video is a title. So I'm going to go ahead and type one in now. And then I'm going to add a description of the video, something I prepared a little bit earlier. I can also add tags here and Facebook says you should add tags here to help people find your videos. I don't find that their tagging system is great Facebook if you're listening, but I try to, to the best of my ability, add tags that I feel is relevant. So you can either add tags by typing in what you think the relevant tags are, or you can scroll through their categories and they've got pre-made tags here. So. I don't think it hurts to do that, but fill that section in. Um, you'll be able to see the video here at the bottom. On the right hand side, you can do a couple more things. You've got the ability to add subtitles and captions. So if you have a um, subrip or .srt file that you've created for the video, you can upload it here if you want, or you can auto generate it. I'm not going to do it for my video because this is a square video where I've got hard-coded subtitles already, but you can definitely use this to add your captions. You've also got the ability to use auto-generated ones, write your own, um, or um, as I mentioned, upload a subrip file that you've created yourself. Um, there's a couple of other things that you can do. You can add a poll um, and some other things which I won't really go into such as tracking and 360 director tools because that's not keeping us focused to what I'm trying to do now. Once the video has finished uploading, you'll see in the bottom here that it says 100% and it's green and it's pretty much good to go now. So I've got the title, I've got a description, um, I've got, I can choose to change the thumbnail image. This is a good one to do as well. So you can either do an auto-generated image and these are stills of your video. Alternatively, you can add a custom image. So if you select add image, I'll do that again. If you select add image here, then it will allow you to choose a image from your desktop. So I'm going to go, let's do that one. That's nice. And alternatively, you can also choose a still from the video. If you go to video frame, then you can, oh, always oh, the best stills. You can choose a still from the video if it's relevant to you. Then let's select next. 
Here is where you can then schedule. So once again, it's already defaulted to publish now. We want, we don't want that. So we actually want to click on schedule right here, schedule. And once again, once we clicked on that, it gives us the ability to then choose the date that we want to schedule to. So I'm going to put it in the future. Sure, let's go at 1 a.m. Um, and then I also have the ability here to do the same thing we did to the post before. If we want to stop the post from showing at a certain time, we can click that, but I don't know why you really would unless you're, I guess if you had a post that was news or time sensitive, you could potentially use this feature to stop it showing in the news feed. Um, you can also choose to add it to a playlist. If you've already set up pay playlists on your Facebook page, you can organize it a little bit here. So I've got a couple of playlists and I'll choose the playlist from here. And here's where you can make it available to other pages if you do own them or if you do own multiple Facebook pages. I'm going to select another page so I can cross post it later. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I've got schedule, I've chosen the date and the time. Um, it's I've left everything else in the choose where your post will appear section as it is. I've chosen to make it available to other pages that I personally own so that I can schedule cross post it a bit later. And that's pretty much it. Facebook on the right hand side here, as you see, has a couple of green ticks. So they love that there's a description and tags and that it's high definition. They don't like that it's a short video, but it's not stopping me from actually going ahead and scheduling. So it's a pink, it's not a red, so we're still okay to go. That's just them giving you a couple of um, things that they would like before you actually go ahead. But that's it, we're good to go now. I'm going to select schedule. There's a notice that my post will be, my video post will be scheduled at this time. And once again, to find the post, I go to content library on the left hand side. And then I can see my scheduled post here. It's currently processing. Once it's finished processing, then I will see it's scheduled as well. And once again, I can make changes to it like I did the other file where I can edit the post. And then I can also, once it's finished processing, I'll be able to do the same things that I did to the other image where I'm able to edit the video post and I'm also able to change the scheduling time. Now that Facebook has finished processing the video, I can see the post status is green, so it's scheduled. If I select the three dots, once I hover over the post here, then I'm able to reschedule it. So if I once I clicked that, I can change the time. I can also cancel this, the post and it will move it to draft. I can preview the post and that will show me what it looks like. How nice is that? The desktop view and in mobile view as well. I can also edit the post and this will open up the same dialog that you saw before where I can change the text, change the thumbnail, um, add the captions once again, and just any editing that I need to do before it actually goes live. When I set up the video to be scheduled, I select the ability to share it on other pages. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if you have multiple Facebook pages, we have, might have a brand one and a personal one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to videos you can cross post. So under content library, videos you can cross post. Because I selected the feature earlier where I can actually where I wanted to share it to other pages, I can then use this video and I can cross post the video. So it's here because I said that I wanted to share it to my other pages. I select the three dots, hover over here, cross post video. And now this is creating a new post got the same details, exactly the same details. I select next. I know it's going to a different page. So the first page that I scheduled it to was Sarah Newen online. And this one is scheduling it to social media rocketeer. And I can see that at the bottom here, it's got a different profile image and the words here, which is the actual page it's posting to. So I'm going to go next for the same details. I can either publish it now, or I can schedule this to appear in the future the date and the time, show in the news feed, and then I can schedule it. And this will then automatically schedule it to another page that I own. 
and I can see it all if I go back to the content library and I can see it all here, a refresh, I'll be able to see it once it's ready appear in the schedule section. I've got the post here that is scheduled to Sarah Newell online and the same post scheduled to Social Media Rocketeer. I didn't have to type two separate posts. I was able to do a few clicks and got it to schedule to the other page as well. Now, the last way that you can actually schedule posts using Creator Studio is by the first way I showed you was from the home page. So we went to home, we post something or we selected upload video. Now the second way is from the content library. On the top right hand corner here is upload videos. So if you're uploading videos, here's another place that you can do it just in case you wanted another option. So if I select this, it opens up my computer where I can choose another video to upload. And once I do that, it asks me which page I want to upload to. And then I go through the same motions as I did for the other video. So I add the title of the video. I add the description, keywords. I can change the thumbnail. I can add um, subtitles if I want. And then I go ahead and schedule it just like I would um, a normal video. So that's another way that you can actually schedule a video. This just is for videos. It doesn't actually have the ability to do images as well. It's just for videos, but you can do that as well from the post sections. So there you go. So hopefully that was helpful and you are now very, very clear on how you can schedule your posts to Facebook using their own free scheduler under Creator Studio. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to schedule your posts on Facebook using Facebook Creator Studio. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business using Facebook, make sure you grab a copy of my Facebook Live Cheat Sheets. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. To get your hands on it, simply click on the link in the description box below and thanks for watching.